Hey Joe, it's folks here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the most profitable print on demand trend that you can try. This is bigger than shirts. It is also bigger than mugs. And honestly, both of those products, in my opinion, are probably dead and dying. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you something that is awesome, something that you can sell to a lot of different niches, and something that can make you a decent amount of profit. If you wanna check out some of the other videos I have here on my channel to see some of the other print on demand products that are currently selling really well, make sure to do so. And if you want to go through some step-by-step -step training from me to actually see how to build out your print-on-demand store, make sure to check out my course. There is a link down in the description. The best part is it is completely free. Inside, you'll get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you the process to build out your print-on-demand store. One of the main things about this video is coming from this study here. This is on the Printful blog. They have some really awesome statistics in here about print-on-demand and how it's going to grow over the next few Few years. I'll put a link in the pinned comment of this video so you guys can go and check this out if you'd like. But what I kind of want to do is draw your attention to a certain section here on the page. Right here, they talk about how the global home decor market reached almost 700 billion in the year 2021. If you continue to read down, you can see that over the next few years, it's going to continue to grow to almost 900 billion by the year 2027. In here, it then lists a couple of different categories within the home decor market. And as print-on-demand sellers, we can certainly sell a lot of different really awesome home decor products. And that is the trend. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an amazing print-on-demand product that you may not have seen before. I'm also going to give you a close-up look of a product sample that I have right here. And I'll reveal the supplier that you can use to sell it. And we'll also go through several really awesome design ideas that you can try to actually make a lot of sales on your own stores. So this here is the print-on-demand product that we're going to look at today. And before you say, Joe, this is just a clock. This isn't that cool. Trust me, it is. I'm going to show you some really awesome concepts for designs in a few moments that you can try on your own stores in a few minutes as well. Like I said, we will break down the quality of this clock. But first, I sort of want to just show you some really awesome concepts that you could use for your own store. All of these design ideas are basically just things that I think could be done in a really cool way on this print-on-demand product. If you get value out of this video, make sure to drop a like on it and if you think you might try any of the design ideas that I show you let me know down in the comments below here is our first idea before everybody runs to the comments and says Joe Robert you can't use the New England Patriots logo obviously you can't you can't use logos from sports teams or you know even the team name right you couldn't write Patriots on a flag but what you could do is use the colors right you could do something with the red and with the blue you could could write something about a man cave or like this flag here that says the fan cave you could write something about New England that is certainly not against you know trademarks and things like that obviously you could create a clock using colors and city names to basically sell to fans of tons of different sports teams from all over the country one of the biggest things that I try to do when choosing a product is make sure that it makes sense for my niche and if you are selling to a diehard sports fan you could picture them putting this clock inside of their man cave or inside of a finished basement somewhere where they watch the game. And if you were allowing them to buy this clock to highlight that room, that could be a cool thing for them. In the complete opposite direction, you could do something like this here. This store is called DivvyUpSocks.com. I actually made a full YouTube video here on my channel reviewing their site and talking about what it is they're doing, but they are basically taking photos of people's pets and putting them on a pair of socks. Now, as a clock seller, you could do something very similar. You could basically do a large print of the pet right in the middle and then have the different numbers inside of dog bones all the way around for the different times. But you can also put just photos of the dog's face 12 times for each hour all the way around and then some sort of dog bone in the middle. Let's say you're selling to someone that loves to play poker. You could create something like this here. Now, obviously this example is a canvas or a sign that actually gets hung on someone's wall. But the point here here is you could create a clock with like a poker theme where all the way around each number on the clock is a symbol from the cards, right? So the two, the three, the four, the five, all the way up, you know what I mean? All the different clock numbers on there would be, you know, from a deck of cards and you could sell that to people that like to play poker. What if your niche is someone who loves to bake? You could create them a sign like this and said it's going to be a clock and it's all about baking, right? It says Stephanie's Bakery on the clock or whatever their name is. You can also allow them to, you know, write the year that it was a 
established, so something like this here. Basically, recreating this for someone who loves to bake. They're putting the clock in their kitchen or something like that. Just like the poker room, we also have something like this here. Essentially, anything that someone could create a man cave around, whether it's the basement bar and lounge like this here, or the previous poker sign that I showed you, or maybe they love to play pool or whatever, you know? What they like to do inside of their man cave is something that you could actually put onto your clock as your niche. Lastly here, we have an option for kids who love to play video games. You can see this one here says the child's name. It says game room on it and it says do not disturb. Essentially, what you could do is you could create a clock where you have some sort of a silly quote about gaming or something like that and then you allow them to write their kid's name and it says game room on it and basically it becomes a really cool clock to put inside of the child's room. So let's talk quality of this clock. Now before I actually break it down from you, I had posted this clock inside of my print on demand Facebook group, just basically asking anybody if they would ever sell print on demand clocks. And I was kind of surprised at some of the comments that I got. You can see a few of them, you know, kind of popping up here on the screen. People, you know, saying that they look janky and that they, you know, don't look like they're that good of a quality or anything like that. And I think honestly, a lot of those comments are probably coming from the fact that the design that is on this clock is not the greatest. Now, first and foremost, this uh, clock was sent to me free of charge from Printify. They sent it to me with the intention of me doing a review on it. So this design here is just a sample, right? This is just a sample design. Keep in mind, if you were creating your own design for this clock, everything on the white part would be done by you, even the spots for all of the different hours. This is a part of the design here, right? So to the people that you know maybe saw this and thought it looked like it was low quality, keep that in mind, right? Basically, the only thing that you'd be able to see through a picture of this would be, you know, the wood on the outside, right? Because keep in mind, everything else is a part of the design. And this wood on the outside is, in my opinion, you know, not low quality at all. It's solid. It's It's got a nice tone to it. It's relatively thick around the outside. And I think this is a pretty nice clock. I think if you were to put, you know, a, a cool design like we talked about earlier on the clock, I don't think anyone would ever think that this is a low quality clock. And let's keep in mind here, right? It's not like we're selling the clock for a hundred dollars or something like that. We're literally talking about a clock here for like 30 or 40 dollars if we're doing personalization with it. Overall, I think it's, you know, pretty normal, pretty typical. You know, it has a plastic back here where, you know, some mechanisms right here, you'd put a battery in it for it to actually work. And like I said, along the outside here does have this wood grain on it. Inside, you can see the little mechanism there for your hands, your seconds and your hours hands. And you know, overall, like I said, this clock to me, I don't think it's as bad or even bad at all. You can hear right there, it's, you know, solid wood around the side here. It's not a bad clock at all, folks. I think maybe the design that's on it, you know, sort of makes it feel cheap or make it look cheap. I think if you were to put a really classy design here, like something we kind of talked about today, or even something funny, like the pet faces all the way around, I think it could make for a really neat product. I don't think this thing feels cheap at all. I'm gonna show you the supplier and we'll kind of talk through pricing strategies for this so that way you can actually make some sales. So right here is where you can get the clock. It's inside of the Printify app. I I do think they have some decent mock-ups for this as well. One thing that I didn't mention before is that the clock actually comes in a few different colors. You can get this in white, black, and wooden. Obviously, the version I showed you today is the wooden version. Now, they describe this as having a wooden frame with a plexiglass face. It says that it has a pre-installed backside hook. That way, you can hang it on something and that it requires one double A battery, which is not included. And like I said, overall, this is a pretty typical clock. I don't think anybody's going to be ordering this thinking that they are going to be getting something that's going to be, you know, made of like, you know, the most incredible ingredients or like not even ingredients. I don't know why I said that, but it's not going to be like an antique clock. People are not going to take this clock and hand it down from generation to generation. Like this is just going to be a fun clock that they are going to hang in a space that makes sense for them. That's why I talked about making a niche choice that really makes sense for this product. Things like the bakery, things like the home bar or the game room and stuff like that. When it comes to pricing on this product, if you do have a Printify Premium account, you're going to be able to get it for $18.64. Now, if you don't have a Printify Premium account, it's going to cost you $24.21. If you want to get a free month of Printify Premium, you can use my code. It is Ninja50, N-I-N-J-A-5-0. Add that into your payment section inside of your Printify account and you will get a free month of Printify Premium, which would get you this clock for 
for under 20 bucks. I think if you're doing any sort of personalization with this sort of a product, some of the ideas that we talked about today, like taking a pet's face or, you know, turning it into a personalized bakery clock or something like that for someone's kitchen, I would say to start this right around $39.99 or so. I think over time, you might be able to get a few more dollars, but I think in that range for a personalized clock is certainly not out of the question. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Is this product something that you may try to sell on your store? Is it something that you've had luck with in the past? Or is it something that you have tried and didn't do so well with? Either way, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this was a cool product to see, and I will see you guys in the next video.